Hi everyone, it's Ashley with my analysis for the week ahead. Uh, what I'm going to do is slightly different in this video. Um, so Mark is going to be posting as well and we both decided uh, so between us he will be doing the longer time frames on the mages and stuff so I don't want to be uh, repeating that in this video because then you will see it in his video as well. Um, what I will be doing is the shorter time frames so like the four hour or lower and I'll give my reasons to explain why I'm looking in those particular areas. Uh, so he will be uh, releasing a video as well uh, and I will be posting that later on um, but anyway so we'll focus on the shorter time frames for for this um, but uh, as always keep your bias on a trade using the longer time frames and always have a look at what the dollar is doing so the dollar we can see clearly is in a very bullish trend up here it's uh, you know very strong and we can see that stocks are coming down nasdaq gold all these things even the majors are going down and we can see here if this breaks through um, quite likely then we can see um, you know dollar strength and we can be looking to short the majors which i'll come to in a minute um, and you can see the bxy which is the british pound index clearly broken the 200 there uh, and below and I'll come to that in a minute on the pound um, but looking at next week I think you know continue dollar strength um, and also next week is one of the tough weeks uh, we have a lot of news uh, you know the unemployment for the pound GDP as well on Wednesday the core CPI is the main one here uh, which does cause a lot of volatility in the market. So make sure you don't trade around that time or get out of any trades. Uh, and then Thursday you have Euro finance rate, uh, Aussie news, uh, core retail sales, um, basically quite a lot going on. And then Fridays we don't usually trade, but manage trades. And you have just some red flag and yellow flag news. So very important to you kind of uh, make a plan on uh, your trades uh, keep an eye on mark to market he will probably post maybe today or tomorrow so have a look at his analysis and uh, let's go to the charts so shorter time frames usd yen was in a little range here as you can see in on the four hour finally broke out came to test this box again I went a bit lower because uh, I think uh, the governor Yuida he made some comments about the FX moves. This thing went a bit lower there, caught out a few people, and then bounced back up again. Uh, I think it's on his way up, um, and there's no place for an entry really. Uh, but just anywhere around here, I don't know if you catch it, then it could be good. Uh, maybe a 70 pip stop on this, but we need a pullback. It's slightly more risky there. Uh, personally, not my kind of thing. Um, what will be day traders are going to look at that. But I would definitely long in here at 145 because the stop is a lot better. This was a large move we had up back up here. So if the um, if this pulls back and goes anywhere into here, I will be looking for an entry because the stop is a lot better multiple reasons there 145 as well um, not a big stop 50 pips and then you're looking to trade it at least all the way back up to uh, 150 so that could be a good 500 pip move uh, all the way back up here 5 600 depending on where you take your profit uh, gonna ignore usd swiss euro four hour very uh, ob obvious uh, this is the area we're looking for so i have my forward order at 107 800 and a 40 pip stop there pound is um i think bearish it broke the um, 200 moving average closed below the 55 the weekly candle um you know has closed below the trend line so i think it's a breakout but i want this consolidation box to be broken as well and if i go down my trading view 
uh, you will see uh, I've drawn a box around it so what I'm looking for is this box to be broken you can see there it's clearly in a downtrend so I was fibbing this to see where it's going to retest 50% fib very um, this is the same area as the 200 moving average so it tested there 50% fib went back down trend line there so I would expect this if it goes below I want this um, support to be broken uh, then I'm a bit more confident this is going to go down uh, because the dollar is strong as well um, so possible 120 pip move here if I replicate this box to this one here just pasted it there uh, usually when the price ranges it does make almost the same move as uh, the box uh, but yeah so that's the pound uh, I prefer the euro for now uh, USD CAD so on the 4 hour I'm looking around here at 135 to 50 so I would put my stop in there 40 pips below these lows here uh, and then uh, long it all the way back up here uh, it's quite correlated with the DXY at the moment so keep an eye on that uh, if it pulls back then we'll be looking to long here I have a forward order uh, Aussie I'm gonna skip uh, euro pound is uh, quite obvious I think mark is gonna go through those um, let's look at euro Aussie so we have a trend line here uh, interesting area would be somewhere in here draw a box around here um, so anywhere in here maybe might be a good place now the stop is a problem um, so it's around 90 pips um, that's the problem with the volatile pairs the pairs have been moving quite fast and the EMAs are taking time to catch up so this one here I don't really like um, it looks better here this is one on the shorter time frames to watch when the price comes into that area and uh, it's it's quite messy uh, I must say but anywhere in here you might want to go a bit lower when you take the entry um, closer to this box like anywhere in here closer to turn line so you get a good stop but it's one to watch um, I prefer the pound Aussie actually uh, because I at least have something in that region because you can see there on the daily uh, it is in an uptrend and um, I did make a few pips out of this I did have a double entry uh, I had moved it to break even the second one and then I got taken out overnight and then I had made a little bit of profit on the first one right now it's um, stopped right at that same place where I had taken the entry and basically I am looking to long in here now um, which is 193.500 and over there because you can see that this high was broken retested there and you can see how accurately it has not stopped below this uh, little support and then went back up for around um, Think this was a quite a big move 500 move um, so now I'm looking in that same region I've put my entry slightly low because it, it tested there there's liquidity in here and also my stop is a lot better uh, it's around 73 pips which is the max I usually go uh, so I'm looking in here and you can see also on the four hour time frames um, price has reacted there in the past so I will be looking to long in there the pound yen you got to be careful uh, with this one at the moment because um, pound USD uh, is going down but the pound yen is going up and that's because the USD yen is going up so it's not favoring uh, you know the correlation bit uh, coming to correlation we can see that it's changed usually pound USD and pound yen around 90 percent 80 to 90 percent correlated at the same time but what you observe here is it's changed it's got a score of minus 62 um, this was uh, like a couple of weeks ago if you had looked at it it was around 90 
I think it was 90 or 95. So they were going in the same direction uh, at the same time, but it's changed. And uh, a few other pairs have changed, uh, but at the moment you can see it has a strong correlation with the USD Yen uh, and it's moving up along with it. So make sure you check this because uh, the correlation changes over the weeks because things happen, news news events come out, um, you know, different things, uh, sentiment changes on the pairs. So keep an eye on this, uh, very important when you take trades because then you will be wondering, why did I lose this? Um, so keep an eye on this. Back to the charts. So um, pound yen, I would say, mm, I would not be interested right now as uh, I don't see really an area over here to long uh, even the one hour it's uh, you know it's showing me short I mean daily and week uh, daily and four hour is pretty much long because there the moving average is above the 200 uh, but the only thing is that stop is tricky this thing it goes wild you can see that spiked like 60 pips uh, below so I, I wouldn't look for a, a trade right now better pairs like the euro cat you can look to trade this um, correlated with the pound cat um, but basically you're looking for the long here at 144,900 I have my stop here 40 pips and basically looking to target it back up for 270 and um, also, I've taken a 1% risk on this because it's, it's like an A-grid setup here. Everything, all the EMAs, FAB, uh, trend line in there as well. So I like the setup. Now with the pound CAD, I don't prefer the long because you can see how it is here. The EMAs are very far apart. Over here might be interesting. Um, but again, this is what worries me is this over here the consolidation bit so I mean we have it on the euro cat as well over here but it's not as messy um, so I would prefer that uh, the euro cat over this one but now over here you can see even on the weekly this has broken the trend line so it's a clear ch a good chance this, ca this can go down which is why I have the order for a short instead uh, and basically if you go on the four hour i'm looking for the pullback in here and it's a very small stop 15 pips but i might have to increase it slightly because uh, i want to move my order in here uh, there's this little gap here uh, you can see um, basically in here and then i want to put my stop there so instead of 15 pips i want to make my stop like around 20 uh, let's see 24 pips so I'll move my entry there when the market opens or on Sunday um, so that's the short you have multiple uh, reasons the M2 breakout you can put your stop above this trend line and the 55 there one hour has a few more EMAs as you saw um, so yeah that's my entry on that one the Aussie yen um, is interesting here uh, 61.8 50 pip stop and you can look to trade it back up um, but I have my entry in here at 78.6 FIB because I had caught it there last time so I just want to be a bit more conservative uh, but here is definitely not wrong uh, I will have to watch it when the price comes into that region 93 three is a good number psychological uh, so yeah why not a 40 pip stop as well and a 100 pip potential so not a bad idea it's just been um, a bit messy though on the four hours as you can see but i would say i would think clearly uh, buyers would step in here carrion is also very similar but um, slightly different it's just been holding up a bit because of the oil prices uh, so oil is kind of favoring it at the moment um, so yeah I mean there's no real trade on here I mean I had it there at the 78.6 but that's just because of the weekly chart I was looking where it reacted there in the past 
and uh, maybe I might have to cancel it but uh, here was a clear area of interest EMAs have moved up I mean if it reacts here and goes up then uh, I'll, I'll, you know I don't I don't really mind I would probably leave it here just because of this spike because you can see that buyers have clearly stepped in a few times uh, but let's see when time comes I might have one either one of them I, I don't want to increase my risk too much um, was there MACD divergence on that? No. Uh, Aussie CAD. So this one here, very clear downtrend. I'm looking to take it in here at the 78.6 fib, 200 trend line, 55 weekly, and my stop is above the previous spike high. So around a 50 pip stop. Potential is 300. Uh, so very nice risk reward going back to these lows um, there was MACD divergence here but it was um, it was risky you can see that it was making um, lower lows and MACD was making higher lows uh, higher things high highs yeah uh, lower lows and higher low I believe yeah uh, sorry I got mixed up but yeah um, usually when you get this like this it gives an indication that price is going to go up but you um, you wouldn't have taken it because there's no multiple reasons and if you look in the past price has gone below it uh, just broken out uh, a few times so I wouldn't risk it in there for a long short is a lot more attractive stay with the trend and that's going to increase your profitability um, last one is Euro New Zealand uh, I'm looking in here I don't really um, see any trades in here uh, on the upside uh, maybe 178 it's been an area of interest before uh, price has reacted there you can see that the bursting move up um, so maybe because there's 50% FIB there and this trend line there if by that time it comes in there things quite probably could do that move like in a day um, but area of interest there for day trade is 178 but I want to long at 174 um, 300 in there um, and yeah so make sure to keep an eye on the correlation like I said and um, yeah as you can see there pound yen is up USD is going down. Um, I'll see you guys on the forum and uh, I'll po post Mark's analysis as well uh, uh, after mine. Um, so you'll have a bit of both daily and the shorter time frames. And yeah, good luck for the week, stock week ahead, and I'll see you guys in the forum. Thank you.